I dig deep into what's really going on. I'm like, oh, okay, you haven't done anything. Yeah. You literally have not done anything. That's it. Yeah, you're right. I haven't done anything. I just, I'm an asshole. I just keep asking all these stupid questions. Okay. Um... I don't know where that one came from. Today is kind of one of those days for me. Years ago, I had decided to take personal development seriously, really improve myself as a person, a husband, a father, a business owner, a real estate investor. And one of the first podcasts I ever came across was by a guy named Steve Trang here in Phoenix. And from the first few times that I listened to the podcast, I decided that I, I wanted to be on it. Well, <coughs> about a month ago, their team reached out to me, asked me to be on the podcast. So we're down here now. So it's just kind of one of those moments that's really cool to, to look back and realize how far I've come since I started listening to that podcast to where I am today. So we're headed to his podcast now and hopefully drop a few nuggets for all the people listening. You're not going to use the turbo. I do not know how to use the turbo boost. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Feel awkward ringing the bell. Um, all the lights are cameras and LED wall. And this wall is our wall of fame. Ooh. Uh, I have all the podcast guests signed. There we go. Beautiful. Cool setup. Yep. It'll be fun when we have our own building set up with all this type of stuff too. Yeah. I work 80 hours a week to make 40 grand a year. My wife wasn't working much, so we were not going forward. We were going backward every month and I just didn't feel like it was sustainable. Love it. Good to see you. And we're guessing. Looks like it's renovated based on the cabinets in there. The outside's not very impressive. Mm, 579. 579? Yeah. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna say 700. I don't think you're right. Here's other houses in the area. 600, 535, 520. This one isn't on yet. Oh. Okay, well, no way to know for sure. Just finished up with Steve Trang's podcast. Went really well. Enjoyed spending time with him. Now we're headed over to Pace Morby's house. Pace has been a buddy of mine since 2020. Joined his Sub2 community and learned about that exit strategy and way to acquire homes um, without traditional financing. So it's good to get to go hang out with him. And uh, we're going to make some content on pre-foreclosures. And uh, that's where we're headed now. Merry Christmas. That is pretty. How much do you think they want for this house? Let's just see how much that one is. Not on Zillow. It's too good for Zillow. Too good for Zillow. Let's see what the code is. Well, good thing we got here early. Just text him, is there a trick to this gate? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I was doing wrong, but that didn't seem to be as intuitive as it should be. This is Pace's establishment. There's the man. Good to see you, brother. Good to see you, man. How was it How yesterday with Steve? It was good. And I haven't showered. I've been on a phone call with somebody that owes me like half a million bucks. Okay. Classic. Eric, you don't have to have your backpack on. <laughs> on the right, stre stressing me out. Can you be effective for on foreclosures without door knocking? A little bit of fear of, of going to the door. Yeah, I think so. Somebody told me today, they said the heaviest door in the world is the car door. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. Sounds like bit. somebody who's not knocked a door yet, but is yeah. afraid of their first right. question. Tell me how 
to not be afraid. <laughs> That's essentially what he's saying. Yeah. So script, maybe we do something like a little role play. Sure. Here's the flow. Here's the here's worst case scenario. And then what happened afterwards? Like, did you lose seven years off your life? <laughs> I would love to hear someone cold call live. Okay, that's been only done a hundred times. They don't like to use the search feature, do they? If, if you could just change people's resourcefulness, like yeah. one degree, holy crap. <laughs> if I could wave a magic wand, that's the problem I would solve. The mindset that they have through all this. So this is like a really good video. This is number one, I start here. Yep. I then go here, I then go here, and then th just give people a visual. Thing you have to know is that it's not easy. Just like any type of investing, it's going to take some work. It's going to take some mistakes. But you have to be willing to commit to putting in the work, being persistent. Right before the seller reaches back out to Eric Green and says, "Okay, please help me extend the foreclosure." I prefer door knocking just because there's so much more information that you can gather from that experience. Extending the, the foreclosures by calling loss mitigation. I don't know how many times I have called with hour, two hours left. Um, hopefully this helps you. I think what Michael's gonna do, Michael's gonna make a video on his channel talking about the five options that he gives to the seller before all of this happens so that he's building rapport and giving those five options. I've filmed eight videos or nine videos with Michael and I haven't fed him today, guys. I've given him one Fresca. He needs some replenishment, so we're gonna let him go. And we'll see you guys in an extension of the series. I'll be in Kansas City for that extension and I hope that Michael takes me door knocking in his hometown market. I don't want to door knock in, in, in um, Kansas. I want to door knock in Missouri. Okay, we can do it. All right, brother, thank you. Thank you for having me. Guys, go over to Michael D. Frankie's YouTube channel. D is for door knocking. And we'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> like we're in Fast and the Furious, but with automated cars. Are you intentionally getting in an accident? <laughs> I'm gonna make the Waymo have road rage. Yeah. <laughs> see if it's sentient. Let's see if it gets. Um, hey guys, this is Austin, Michael's videographer. Wanted to apologize about this next footage because the audio is all missing because I didn't double check it. But wanted to uh, narrate what's happening here. This is Michael being a total goofball in the airport. Eventually he's gonna close this out here and talks about this trip and how it has been a reflection of his journey from just starting out in real estate to really being a leader in this industry. So he's, he's encouraging you guys to stick with it and to chase your dreams and be persistent and that you too can accomplish what you wanna accomplish. So hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and follow Michael for more good stuff. See ya.